A housemaid, Sampurna, committed suicide. A resident of Kempe Gauda Naga, Sampurna, was being mentally harassed by her husband, Ravi Kumar. The couple had been married for eight years and also have two kids. Ravi Kumar, who was employed in a printing press, was a drunkard and harassed his wife. The Kempe Gauda Naga police have registered a case and have taken Ravi Kumar into custody. This is a shocking incident coming from Kempe Gauda Nagar. Sampurna housemaid set herself ablaze after being unable to bear the tortures of her alcoholic husband. She is survived by two of her children. The police are at the spot and have taken Ravi Kumar into custody. Ravi Kumar is an employee of a press in that area. Neighbours have been saying that Sampurna was in fact being tortured by her alcoholic husband and this could have been the reason why she took this extreme step. The police have taken Ravi Kumar into custody and interrogating him. They believe that it is the domestic squabble that had led to this incident. Aam Aadmi Party is prepared to take Varanasi by storm today as Arvind K. Jirwal is all set to hold a public meeting in the Holy City to announce his candidature against Bharatiya Janata Party's Prime Ministerial candidate, Narendra Modi. This is the news that is coming from Varanasi where two titans are about to face off each other. Varanasi has been considered a safe seat and for long it has been offered to Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister hopeful from the BJP. Arvind K. Jival had in fact held a rally in Varanasi and had asked that he would contest from there if, it, if the people of that constituency asked him to. He said that Narendra Modi should not go down without a fight and that is why he would contest for, against the BJP Prime Minister hopeful. Varanasi has become a hotbed of political activity after the decision of the Bharatiya Janata Party to in fact announce the candidature of Narendra Modi for that particular seat. This Lok Sabha seat is of great importance for the BJP as it is also a place of cultural and religious institutions. For more on this, we have our colleague Arun. Arun, quite a great fight it would be if uh, the AAP candidate and leader Arvind Kejriwal goes all against Modi. Varghese, uh, as we speak, what we are given to believe is that Arvind Kejriwal will arrive in the uh, holy town of uh, Varnasi in Uttar Pradesh uh, and he will proceed for a darshan of uh, Lord Kashi Vishwanath after which uh, there is the public rally already we are given to believe that close to about 25,000 people or volunteers uh, um, representing the Aam Admi Party or the AAP have already landed on the uh, temple town and many more are expected. It is in fact believed that the um, rally that is being planned today could see as much as uh, 1 lakh people attending it. Now, uh, a formal announcement of whether uh, Kejriwal will take on Modi or not is expected to be made. That is the prime reason why this particular uh, rally is being conducted is the speculation. Remember, there have been already some kind of an informal referendum to figure out whether AAP uh, chief uh, A, uh, Arvind Kejriwal needs to uh, field himself against uh, Narendra Modi or not. But clearly, uh, uh, the um, temple town of uh, Varanasi is buzzing with a lot of activity. In fact, as we speak, we are even given to believe that uh, as many as 16 teams comprising of three to four volunteers per team has been formed to actually um, uh, uh, fan out into the area surrounding the uh, very famous BHU or the Banaras Hindu University to not only tap into the... Uh, 
student population there, but also uh, those of the uh, academia and uh, the residents um, residing close to the BHU. So uh, nothing is being left to chance as far as the AAP is concerned. They are using the social media predictably enough to to the hill to send the message out that uh, this particular rally will be held today. In fact, uh, they are also um, apparently looking at uh, preparing responses to possible questions which are likely to be raised, including as to why after 40-plus uh, days the Arvind Kejriwal government threw in the towel and decided to quit uh, um, and not run the Delhi administration. So clearly the AAP is perhaps now uh, being uh, well-oiled and uh, well-prepared for these kind of events. And we will have to wait and watch whether f uh, a formal announcement on Arvind Kejriwal's candidacy will be made at the rally or um, it will be done separately. But clearly, Varnasi is getting ready for some kind of uh, political action, so to speak, uh, Varghese. Arun, also it seems that it's a strategy of AAP to take on big leaders of any party, be it in a Methi or... Is it a message to the high and mighty saying that uh, they won't go unchallenged? Well, that is uh, the way uh, democracy and elections work, uh, Varghese, because remember, uh, every once in five years, you get the opportunity to question your uh, sitting MP. And if you believe that he is doing an incapable, his um, incapable job, he is not the person who is suited for that particular job, you have every opportunity of replacing him. So clearly that seems to be... Uh, the undertone, even as far as Varnasi is concerned, because remember, uh, there is a point that the AAP plans to raise, that is in the last 25 odd uh, years, uh, on nearly uh, five occasions, the uh, people of Varnasi have actually uh, managed to elect a representative from the Safran party or the BJP and send him to uh, the parliament in Delhi. But uh, there seems to be very little kind of on-ground activity which has taken place, which is providing the um, uh, people in the AAP uh, enough and more ammunition to take on Narendra Modi, uh, Varghese. Thank you, Arun, for joining with all those details. It was carnival time in Bijapur as the Congress candidate Prakash Rathod filed his nomination, but the merriment did come with its share of controversy. Here's more on the issue. First came the carnival. Then came the controversy. The city of Bijapur was immersed in celebration as the Khan candidate Prakash Rathod filed his nomination. The procession was nothing short of a carnival with thousands coming to support their leader. Joining the candidate were Congress stalwarts from North Karnataka. After offering prayers at the Siddeshwara temple, the leader headed to DC office to file his nomination. He was accompanied by thousands of supporters who hailed their leader. Prakash Rathod expressed his confidence in winning the elections with a margin of at least a lakh votes. Now, Namapatra and Salsi Deve, Congress Paksha Adikrata, Bethyagi, Namapatra Salsi Deve, now Yelru, Dodo Pramandali, Wagatagi, Mudlu Hildage, Wagatagi, now Kella Ruseri, Ibari, Chunavane Gelodeke, Yella Vondo, Maranathan now Madi Deve, Motu Mundinat in Galli, General Namgashiva, the Mata Tarantan and Sampurna Vishwas. But amidst all the merriment, accusations of Kong party workers paying money to people to participate in the rally surfaced. It is alleged that while the candidate was busy filing his nomination inside the office, his supporters were seen distributing money to people who participated in the rally. It is being alleged that people responsible to monitor this were also hand in glove with the party workers. Party workers and leaders who attended the rally have rubbished this as an effort to stain the Kong candidate. Prakash Rathod categorically stated that he has not floated the EC norms. He reiterated that he and his party workers have followed the model code of conduct set by the election commission. Prakash Rathod filing the nomination was a perfect blend of celebration and controversy. It now remains to be seen if the Kong candidate can come out victorious by the margin he has claimed. Ashok Yadhali for News 9, Bijapur.